All right, we're here to talk about Tremors 6. Uh, a Cool Day in Hell. The, uh, yeah, official title. Uh, I think... So my non-spoiler so far is... Uh, this is a... I think this is the weakest of the these new three films. Like, a class... You can have the first three films. You can have the prequel, which is a bit of a weird one. I kind of put that with the TV series a little bit. Um, and then you have these three films. Which, yeah, I'm going to... I'm just going to say this is the weakest of the three. I think overall. While I have, you know, there's going to be some problems with the seventh film. This one is kind of the weakest. So, okay, let, let, I'm just going to spoil this. But it is incapacitated for a, a decent chunk of this film. Which, and he's a bit of a dick for quite a bit of the film, just because he's uh, ha has like an illness. So that's not great there. Um, that's that's that's, that's, that's like, like ripe. Uh, though I do like. It feels like a little bit of handing off the baton, even though it's not really. Which I feel like they. Mm. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll try and I'll try and pick it up again in seven. Um, but uh, yeah. Wait, stop it, Google. Um, yeah, just it feels like it's a bit of a try and do that. There's some bits I like. Uh, one like this is near the end of the film. There's a big graboid that comes out, um, and it looks beautiful. And we actually see the graboid up close in a container, and that looks gorgeous as well because it's puppetry. We get puppetry back, so it looks good. So this place takes, well, was it takes place in, I'm trying to, um, I don't want to get the Antarctic and the Antarctica confused which one is which, because I will probably get those wrong. I was in Canada. Oh, sometimes I thought it was in a little bit higher up. No, it's, it's based in Canada, which you'd think, because if something's based in Canada, you think they film in Canada generally due to how cheap it is and how everything is in America is filmed in Canada. No, this film was filmed in South Africa. Just like the last film. What? <laughs> oh, what? And they basically just hand wave and go, climate change. And that's, that's how they get around of it. Let's go, climate change. And they go, anyway, moving on. Which is, to be fair, is part of the plot of the film. Is climate change that uh, the Graboids have been thawed out, basically. Yeah, they've been thawed out because of climate change, and they're starting to attack and these kind of maybe prehistoric grab up graboids, or... I don't know. I don't know which era of dinosaurs they are. Maybe Jurassic uh, Jurassic uh, graboids. Whichever term I like. Whichever term the, the movie likes uh, best. Yeah. So that's that. Is it good? No, no, it's not. No, it, it, to be fair, there's again. I don't think there's there's not a bad Tremors film. They're the range in quality, but I don't think any of them are bad. Like I think in my head, now that I've watched every Tremors film, I think four is maybe the weakest. Just because, yeah, you'd you'd. you'd yeah, part of the enjoyment is but, and you don't have but. You don't really have any kind of character like that. Hmm. But yeah, it's a research station in yeah Canada, a little bit, kind of maybe a little bit, yeah, like the thing. Um, we have a whole research crew. One of them is staffed by uh, Valerie McCree, who is the daughter of. Uh, Kevin Bacon's character from the first film and the other main lead I've forgotten who's also in the first film can't remember off the top of my head uh, my brain is deciding not to answer me uh, does it say here it says I've got the Wikipedia open because it's always handy to have uh, Rhonda Lee Beck oh it's 
Valentine McCree and Rhonda Livec. I don't know the actual actress's name, but yeah. She is yeah, a connection to the uh, original Tremors film. Which I don't think mm, none of the other films do have like other um connections to the previous films, really. I think this one does it the most. I do like... Uh, well, I, I did... Not do like... I hate that um, Perfection is basically just destroyed now, and apparently Bert's the only one there. He's manning uh, Chang's store. I just... I don't know. It feels like a little bit of a, like, oh. Oh. Is that... Is the, 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 the whole place from the, the last... Oh. Okay. I mean, they could have tried and bought back... Um, What's the space? Sorry, I'm just trying to remember the character who I hate. Uh, whoever I had an unnatural ha hatred for in the first film, and uh, my hatred was guaranteed uh, later on. Uh, Melvin. Yeah, Melvin. Prick. Um, <laughs> so that, I just dislike that. As someone who's... I mean, it might be mostly because I've watched these films back to back. What's the films and the TV series within the span of a year, or less than, less than a year? It's like, yeah, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. I just, uh, it just feels like a ah, oh. oh, yeah. The last film I was like, oh, I kind of want a connection to the the previous, yeah, TV series, and this is like, oh, this is the connection. It's all gone. Oh, oh, um. Yeah, that I didn't like. But yeah, Bert, Bert's kind of cut out of the film. Uh, a decent, decent chunk of the film, he's kind of out of commission. Because um, he's got... Basically has a virus from when he was inside a Graboid in the first film? I think... I think he was... Yeah, I think he was... He was swallowed in the first film. I think. Could be wrong. Could be wrong entirely. Uh, his son is back. He's there. And yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a, a pass of the baton idea. Even though, so spoilers, the character isn't back for the, the last film. Which I feel like they they kind of wrote a character. They wrote him into the film. And then had like another person just play his, 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 his son. Not quite son. Like they just kind of went, yeah, there's, there's a new character. You're like, oh. Oh, okay. Um, I like the openings for the film where it is in the Antarctic. Well, not the Antarctic, in Canada where it's like snowing and everything. And it looks great. And then they're like, yeah, that costs too much money to... They basically filmed the desert and just changed the, the lighting. Um, yeah, I, I wish they had shot somewhere that was more snowy. I d that, that, I think that definitely hurts the film. Like you could have shot somewhere a bit snowy, and you didn't, and it kind of hurts hurts the film to not do that. Like I mean, I don't know why they couldn't shot in shot in Canada. I guess money, ultimately. But yeah, like I said, I I, I like this one. I don't hate it. Uh, but again, Bert is out of commission for a lot of the film. He's a He's a cantank like he's more of a cantankerous ass than usual. Normally he's a cantankerous ass because people are doing dumb shit, whereas this he's just being a cantankerous ass for being for the sake of being a cantankerous ass. Like, yeah. Ah. Uh. And there's some stuff I like that they did a huge like ele yeah electrical fence to try to defend a place. Like uh, there's kind of an underground fence. That was cool. But yeah, ultimately, it's pretty weak, and you do have, like, these kind of villain characters in this. They're almost completely forgotten about, like, almost immediately. And yeah, like I said, I think this is the weakest one. It's good, but it, it's not great. Um, yeah, I guess check it out if you get the, yeah, the fancy-ass collection like I got. Um... Oh, the, the even better one, which has the TV series as well. Because, fuck me, as soon as I buy the TV series and this, and all of a sudden, they're releasing a really nice set. God damn it. 
Um, yeah, that is Tremors. Ooh, Tremors six, uh, and we've still got we've got one more Tremors to film. Tremors to film. Tremors. Tremors film, which is what's that? There, hero, Shrieker Island, which is the final Tremors film. So look forward to that. But for now, I say, live long and prosper, and we'll see you next time for Tremors. Shrieker Island. Bye for now.